All right, so one of the first steps that you're gonna to have to uh, perform here is to get a hold of your copy of the, the machine project. Uh, and so there's, there's two steps involved in doing this. Um, one of the steps is to use um, the, the GitHub Classroom link. So at this point, we've, we're assuming that you've set up Android Studio and that's working, um, and that you've also created an account on GitHub. If you needed to do that, some of you may already have one. If you haven't, sign up, it's free. Use your Illinois address and they, they have some goodies that they might throw in that they reserve for students. Um, on the write-up for the MP, there is a link. Um, we're using a, a, a service called GitHub Classroom. Um, and let me show you what's going to happen for, for me when I use that link. So I'm going to go here. I've got a web browser open. This is the link that uh, will uh, cause uh, the creation of your repository. So we're going to see what happens when I go to this link. Um, it asks me to accept the assignment, okay? Uh, you have to be logged in to GitHub for this to work. What's gonna happen is when I click accept, um, GitHub Classroom is gonna create a new repository for me to use that contains the starter code that we've, uh, we've set up for you that's kind of gonna get you started on the project. And we're gonna show you how to get that into Android Studio and start getting uh, into the workflow that you'll be using to complete the MP, which involves running the test suites and the grader and other things. Um, but we gotta accept the assignment first, so let's do that. Um, this sometimes will take a minute uh, to, to finish. Uh, it looks like I have to refresh the page to see updates. Um, okay, great. So now I've got uh, my repository. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So we're going to click on this link. Um, and in here, what you can see is that there's some code. Now, if you haven't used GitHub before, um, this interface allows you to uh, browse around the files that are located in the repository. So for example, uh, there's this file called id.txt that we're going to put some content into in a minute. Um, we're going to explain what some of these files are as we go. One of the things that is different about this is that you're now actually interacting with multiple files. Um, so for example, let's go in and, and we can browse around in here. This is not typically a super useful thing to do. Uh, but so for example, here's some of the code that we're going to go through in later walkthroughs. Um, these are Java files. So this is a file that contains the code for the activity that's launched when you start the app. And again, like, you know, you're going to look through this and you're going to be like, okay, interesting. I see that this extends something. So you're going to see bits and pieces of things you understand. And there's also going to be a lot about this that you're not going to be able to, to figure out right away. We gotcha. We're going to walk through some of these things together and you'll learn more as we go. Um, but anyway, so this is the GitHub interface. Now, there's not really usually a reason to use this interface. The one thing that you can do here um, is that when we start to submit your code by pushing it to GitHub, you can come here and you can check to see if that's been done properly. The way you do that is you, you can look at the commit history here. We'll explain some of these concepts later. So these are the different uh, changes that have been made to the repository. You can see that I've been making those changes. So you're picking up where I left off. Once you start working on this, the changes will have your messages and they'll have your you know avatar and stuff like that um, you can also see a timestamp here so this is the last time this repository was modified um, and so after you push your work uh, as we'll go through later you can come back to this website and you can see that this timestamp will have updated now the way that this is set up um, your repository has to be in this particular location for us to grade it. So if you somehow can figure this to be set up in some other way, which you shouldn't just follow these instructions, uh, it's not going to trigger the auto grading that we'll eventually have set up. And so you won't get any credit for your work, which is not what you want. Okay, so, so this was step one, right? Just accepting that GitHub link, um, waiting for a minute, you have to hit refresh a few times maybe uh, for the repository to be set up. Once you have something that looks like this, you're ready to move on to the next step where we're going to show you how to get that into uh, Android Studio.